quality guy on our team this week my little brother yeah. little Nicky Nick he's so <laughs> tiny Stop it. as always we're recording in Moncton New Brunswick here at home base and I need to give a quick shout out to our sponsors don't forget Moosehead Light if you're gonna get yourself some beer make sure you get some Moose Light it's delicious it's scary good it's scary it's scary good <laughs> scary. scary good and if you're on a team, you work for a company, or you're looking to get some shirts made up, make sure you go see the Doyle Brothers at Doyle Corporation. Doyle Rules. They make some quality stuff. Quality stuff. Quality stuff. Quality stuff. Is that it? I don't know. What do you got? Huh? Foxhead, or sorry, um, Fox and the Hound. You know, we're still partners with Fox and the Hound, so if you're going out on Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, mm -hmm. whatever day of the week it is, you want some quality food, go see Fox and the Hound. Delicious again. Delicious. <laughs> did you see the Oscars Sunday night? I did. Baby. So Jeannie and I had an Oscar uh, competition. And we we bought the magazine where you selected all, you know, you selected who you thought was going to win in each category. Yeah. You're not going to believe this. You won? I only got one wrong, and it was the last award. I picked La La Land to win the Oscar. You know, and I thought I went perfect, and then I got gypped at the end with what took place at the end. There's a lot of things in life that I, I feel embarrassed for you for. Yeah. This is just another one I'm going to add on. I'm just saying. I point. went perfect. It was the biggest debacle that ever happened. This is embarrassing. Have you ever seen anything like that? In, in, in... Can I take this off? <laughs> <laughs> now, one thing, you know the biggest moment out of the Oscars? What? For me, was the fact that it is confirmed Jackie Chan's alive. All, the last few years, there's been tons of reports that Jackie Chan is dead. He's alive. He was at the Oscars. The only reason I had anything to do with the Oscars is hearing about that big foul up yeah. and seeing Beatty's face in the end of like, I don't know. <laughs> it was classic. It was it. classic. I, what I, and I love Jimmy Kimmel. Did too. you see Jimmy Kimmel? He was like, uh, you know, he was a deer in the headlights. What do we do now? I think, do? I think he did a great job with well, it. He, he did, but he at made first, fun of it. What you, you first do? saw when the when the producer came out with the envelope, so awkward. Kimmel was like, "What's going on here?" It was awesome. It was awesome. <laughs> what it did, the first thing it made me think of, is how the Oscars went and fixed it right away. The producer came out. They well, announced it was Moonlight. Right, right? you're taking away. Yeah, the, but you're you, taking away from the other. You know what it reminded me of? The bill. Foot in the crease. Oh, I thought the Bills. No, yeah. the Bills. Foot in the crease. The <laughs> Buffalo Sabers. Brett Hall's foot in the crease. The NHL let the <laughs> Stars win the Stanley Cup. You kind of stole my thunder because that's what I was going. Now they know how it's like to be a Bills or Buffalo fan. Yeah. You know, so close, and then they take it away. And then they take Why it away. Right? But had. Batman did the same thing that they did at the Oscars. The, the Sabres first. would have had a chance to win the Stanley Cup. Let's let it go. All right. <laughs> We're going to go on to this date in history like we always do. So I have a quick one for you. This goes back to 1952. Okay? Okay. A guy by the name of Vincent Massey. Okay? Vincent Massey. He was the first Canadian-born governor general of Canada. Okay. Do you know what the Governor General does? The Governor, the governor General. What's the Governor General of Canada responsible for? He governs general? He governs generals? <laughs> the, he, no. is the re, he represents the Queen in Canada. Right. He's the representation of the Queen. So the fact that he was the first Canadian born to do this was a big deal for Canada. Nice. Right? He also exercises the duties of head of state, not only in Canada, but abroad. 
He's the first to meet visitors in Canada, whether it's the royal family, ambassadors, or other. Okay. He's the first one okay. to meet. Them. We're, going, we're going Oscars. We're going politics. I'm just telling you. Every taboo that you don't want to talk about, that we're going. There. This this is a big date for Canada. Okay. All right. Go big ahead. date for Canada. He, now here's the big one I want to talk to you about. On this date in 1998, Mark Messier becomes the fourth NHLer to score 1,600 points. Okay. Okay. Now I have got the stats here. In overall points in the NHL right now, Messi is actually in third place behind Gretzky and Yager. Yeah. I did a little bit of stats. When you look at the average points scored per game, Gretzky was at he's the highest in the NHL, obviously at one point nine two goals uh, points per game. Then the next highest after that is Mario Lemieux at one point eight eight. And then, then it bounces all over the place. Right. But the fact that Messier came is third overall in scoring. The one thing I find very interesting about him, and this is what I want to talk about, whenever the best players come up, whenever we're talking about the best players to ever play the game, and, and with the NHL Top 100 that just came out not too long ago, we're talking or we're talking... Gretzky, Lemieux, yeah, yeah. Gordy Howe, names are being thrown out. I have never heard somebody make an argument for Mark Messier being one of the best players in the NHL. Well, What's your yeah. thoughts on that? Well, they, they, there's so many good players. Like it's, you can throw a butt. Like you're, you're not. But when you look at this list, there's guys Marcel Dion, Stevie Eiserman, Phil Esposito, Ron, Ronnie Francis. You know, he played a lot of games, but. You hear those different names. Stevie Eiserman comes up in every conversation. Right. Well, he's five five spots down from Messier. Look at he's already won so many things. He's he dated Madonna. Won. Yeah. He won. Yeah. Ah, there you go. No, that's there you it. Go. That's it. But now, I I I, just, I find it strange. Nobody ever makes an argument that Messier for for Messier. I've I never know. heard I a hockey opinion. fan really ever. Yeah. Really, the reason why I think is because you see Messier as that more of a no. Big scorer, but you yeah. think of him as a, a grinder, as a because he does it all. He hits, he yeah. can score, he can fight, he can do elbow. elbow and he's, he does the dirty boxing. Yeah. He gets in there, he can do it all. Mm. So when you think of scoring, you kind of do admit Messi out of the top yeah. because you're thinking of you're not top thinking just goal scoring. See, and I figured that you would be promoting Messi more than you do. What? Because he's a spokesperson for one of your favorite products. Oh, God. Lay's chips. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. 2010. There's no this... sound effect for that? Come on. <laughs> 2010. 2010 was another big date on this date. That's when Canada beat the U.S. in overtime to win the gold medal game in uh, Vancouver. Boom. Who scored the goal? In Vancouver. What, what, what date again? In 2010. The, the Olympics in Vancouver. Olympics in Vancouver. We beat the U.S. in overtime. The golden goal in overtime. Who oh, scored that? Was Sydney Crosby. Sydney Crosby. Yeah. There you go. Yeah, yeah, there yeah. you go. So that's our date review. All right. So moving.